Hey guys, how's it going? We are back at it once more with a brand new unit. Um, this unit is going to be focusing on um, the topic of transformations. All right, and to do that, we're going to need to go ahead and uh, do a few things first. We need to first identify the reflections, translations, and rotations. So those are some types of transformation that we have to identify those in this particular section. And then we are also going to verify congruence after a congruence transformation. All right. So let's actually put some work behind all of that, uh, all of those goals there. So let's go ahead and define our first item here. So this is a transformation. Transformation is a change <clears throat> to a geometric figure where the pre-image or the original image and the new image or, or what's called the image remains congruent. Okay, So basically we're taking a particular geometric figure, we are doing something to it, so it shows a whole new image. Okay, all right. Now, uh, the notation for transformations that we use is an arrow. which can be shown right here. So this is saying that we are transforming something, okay? So in this case, the transformation statement, triangle ABC is being transformed to triangle XYZ. So what is that? Well, that shows us that A is being mapped to X, B is being mapped to Y, and finally C is being mapped to Z. Well, you might be asking, well, how do we know that? Well, symbol. This first letter is being transformed to that second letter, or to that first letter, sorry. Our second letter of our original is translating to or transforming to uh, that second letter in our uh, second triangle. And then finally, this third letter, third and final letter of our pre image is being transformed to this last letter on our image or our new figure okay so it's basically you have to keep it corresponding so the first letter goes with the first letter second with second third with third all right let's go on to some more formal definitions and i apologize for the bad um the bad images here it's just that they didn't transfer over very well but, why don't I go ahead and actually make these a little nicer? So let me. This is an A, B, and C. This is a G, H, and F. And this is stating triangle ABC is being transformed to triangle FG. H. Okay, so hopefully that looks a little bit better. So let's talk about what a reflection is. So a reflection is a transformation over a line called the line of reflection. Okay. So in this particular case, our line of reflection is right there, right? So it's almost like, a, it works almost like a mirror, guys. When you look at a mirror, you see a reflection, right? So that's the same concept here, okay? So in this case, again, just to be clear, this A is being transformed to this F. This B is being transformed to this G. And finally, this C is being transformed to that H. Okay, so hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. Let's go ahead and, well, actually, even before I move on to that, let's give this some sort of a, an easier. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and call reflection a flip. Okay, so more of vocabulary that you're used to, so that'll help you guys remind, uh, remember it a little bit better. So let's go ahead and take a look at translations. So a translation. A translation is a transformation that 
that move the object or an object. <clears throat> Uh, left, right, up, or down. Okay. So it can move it in any of those directions. So really a transformation, or I'm sorry, a translation. All it really is is a slide. Whether that slide down, left, right, maybe in two different directions, maybe down and to the right, okay? And this little image here, to make the letters a little darker here. This is J L K. This is M O P. So triangle J K L is being transformed, and in this case, it's being translated to M P O. All right. So again, notice from J K L. That triangle is going not only down a little bit but also to the right okay so that is called a translation again notice that my image basically looks exactly the same right it doesn't really change all that much it just slides it just moves over so the orientation of it stays exactly the same not like reflection notice in reflection kind it kind of looks like it turned right it kind of flipped but in this case it look it just looks like it slid I don't even know if that's the right word, but yeah, it, it's basically translations are slides, okay? So finally, we're going to take a look at rotations. See the transformations. Around the platform. Which we will call. The center of rotation. All right. So what is a rotation? I'm sorry. What is a rotation? Rotation. As you guys will be able to see from the image. Once again, let me make this a little darker. So this is going to be R S T, and then X W Y. Okay, and notice again, my point of rotation here is actually right there. Okay, it doesn't actually have to be on one of the vertices or anywhere on the triangle. It could be somewhere else. But notice it's actually turning from here to here. So if I have that triangle and I turn it around that particular center of rotation, I will be switching the orientation of my triangle a little bit. So RST is being transformed, and in this case, it's being rotated to W, X, Y. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and take a look at a few of these and see if we can figure out whether we're being given reflections, translations, or rotations. All right, so it says identify the type of congruence transformation shown as reflection, translation, or rotation, okay? So I'm gonna actually give you guys a chance. I'm gonna have you guys pause the video for a second. This is gonna actually be a pretty short video overall. So why don't you guys go ahead and take a shot at these to see if you can figure out which one is translation, which one's rotation, and which one's reflection. All right, go ahead and give it a shot. All right, guys, let's go ahead and see if we can figure these out. Well, first off, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start off easy. I think letter B is the easiest to figure out because notice the, the, it kind of looks like a little house, all right? It just kind of slides over. It moves over to the side, not only down, but also to the right. So this is a slide, which we said is called a translation. I think that one was the easiest out of all of them, all right? The next easiest, I think, would be actually C, okay? That one is actually going to be a reflection. Now you might be asking yourself, well, why? How do you know that? Well, let's look at this. Let's pretend this is my line. Okay? My line of reflection. Okay? 
So if that's my line of reflection, then that means from here to here to this point, it was only one unit. So if I reflect it, it's going to be one unit down. Again, on this point here, it's two units above the, the line of reflection. So now it's going to be two units down. Same thing here, one unit up, so one unit down. For these up top, it's one to three units up. So here from my line of translation, or I'm sorry, my line of reflection, it's three units down. Same exact thing here, same exact thing here. So every single one of these reflected, okay, across this line. Remember, this is my, oops, line of reflection. So yes, letter C was a reflection. All right, so that means letter A. It should be, from process of elimination, it should be a rotation, but let's verify that. Well, we actually do see a rotation happening here. If you guys can see right here, see how this is pointing to this right there? The reason why is because it's rotating along that axis. Okay? Sorry, not that axis, that point of rotation. So let's pretend this is A, B, and C. Then really... Let's go ahead and do it like this. Hopefully this makes sense. If I am ro rotating this, and I'm going to name these something else, let's go ahead and name this, oh, I don't know, let's name this D, E, F. Let's see if we can figure this out. Well, C is going to go to D. If it reflects like that, so it's triangle D. Oh, wait, 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 my bad. Let me redo this now. We want to go A, B, C, okay? So A is actually going to go to E. B is going to go to F. And then finally, C is going to go to D. Remember, these have to match. A with E. B with F, and finally C with D. Okay, so yes, this one was actually a rotation. Okay. And again, I'm not expecting you guys how to to know how to do this part right here. Okay, I'm not concerned about that just yet. We will eventually get to that point, but for this video, I just wanted to make sure it was apparent which types are reflections which types are translations, and which types are, trans or are rotation, sorry. And remember, all three of these, rotations, translations, and reflections, these are all just called transformations. These are transformations. Okay, so now you guys know what it is to have a transformation, and we have three to choose from. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end the video here. I'll have you guys try out some more solid and concrete examples a little bit later in our next video. All right, guys, go ahead and stop the video. Hang on.